Hi kids, it's Miss Haley. I have a special friend that I brought you today about what we're learning about. We're all done with the farm, now we're learning about insects. And I have a special insect in this cup that I caught in my house. I don't know how well you'll be able to see it on the video, but I'll try to hold it so that you can see her. Okay, it's okay. Don't be scared, little, little guy. Okay, let me see if I can hold her nicely. There we go. Okay. Can you see what that is? She's wiggling a lot. She's probably very scared. I'm sorry, honey. I'll be gentle. This is a crane fly. This is an insect that hatches this time of year, and there are a lot of them around my house, and I bet there's a lot of them around your house, too. They have six legs and two wings, and they kind of look like giant mosquitoes, but they're not mosquitoes. They're an insect that flies around and they don't hurt you. They don't bite, they don't sting. She kind of tickles my hand right now when I'm holding her, but it doesn't hurt. Some people think they're kind of creepy because they're so big, but I like them. Oh, she flew away. There she goes. She flew, now she's standing on the lamp. Here, maybe I can bring the camera over so you can see her. Okay, let's see here. Okay. There we go. Can you see her? Poor thing, I might have hurt one of her legs. I hope not. Anyway, that's called a crane fly. There's a lot of them flying around our house these days. But they don't bite and they don't sting. Another interesting thing about crane flies is that when they hatch out of their little eggs, they're larvae. They're just like little tiny itty bitty caterpillar worm things. And that's when they do all their eating. Then. They turn into crane flies, just like how caterpillars turn into butterflies. And once they're crane flies, they don't eat. They just fly around, they find a mate, they make babies, they lay their eggs, and then they die. And that's it. Cool, huh? Well, anyway, she's over there. She's gonna watch us from the lampshade. I brought a letter for you, of course. I brought you the letter C for k -k crane fly. Start at the top, magic C curve. Pretty cool. And I also brought you a book. This book is called In the Tall, Tall Grass, and it's written and illustrated by Denise Lemming. You guys see the pictures? I see a kid peering through some tall blades of grass looking at an insect. Kind of looks like a caterpillar, don't you think? Let's find out what happens. In the Tall, Tall Grass by Denise Fleming. In the Tall, Tall Grass Crunch, Munch, Caterpillars Lunch. We were right. The insect on the front of the book was a caterpillar. Look at that. I wonder what sort of butterfly or moth this caterpillar is going to turn into. Dart, dip, hummingbirds, sip. Make a long beak, and let's pretend we're hummingbirds. Mmm, delicious nectar. One, two, three hummingbirds, and one caterpillar. Strum, drum, bees, hum. Look at all those bees. Shall we count how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bees. Crack, snap, wings, flap. Ooh. What is that bird snapping up? I hope she doesn't eat our caterpillar. Pull, tug, ants, lug. What are the ants lugging? Lug means to carry something heavy. Looks like maybe the ants are lugging a piece of grass. But look, who's that hiding behind them? our friend a caterpillar. Slip, slide, snakes, 
cry. How many snakes do you see? One, two. And look, there's our friend, the caterpillar. Rich, ratch, moles, scratch. Moles are cute little animals, rodents, I think. Actually, I don't know if they're rodents. Hmm, I'll have to look that up. Anyway, they're cute little animals and they live underground and they dig. And some people don't like them because they can cause a lot of damage to people's garden. There she is, caterpillar friend. Skitter, scurry, beetles, hurry. How many beetles do we see? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven beetles. And one little caterpillar. Zip, zap, tongues snap. Ooh, look at that. What are the frogs snapping up with their tongue? Flies. I hope they're not snapping up any crane flies. I love the crane fly. Our crane fly is gone, by the way. She flew off of the lampshade. I wonder where she is. Hip pop, ears flop. There go the rabbits. And look, there's our caterpillar. Stop, go. Firefly, fireflies glow. Fireflies are interesting insects. We don't really see very many of them out here in California where we live, but in other parts of the country and other parts of the world, there are lots of fireflies. Did you know that fireflies are not actually flies? They're a type of beetle, but they have a very soft belly and they can glow zoop, 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 zoop out their bottoms, but it's not warm like fire. Their glow is just a light that they can blink to try to talk to other fireflies. They're probably saying, hi, hello, hola, hello, hey, what's up? And there goes the caterpillar. Lunge, loop, bats, swoop. Can you do a bat swoop with me? Swoop, oh, that's a good one. What do you suppose the bats are swooping for? What are they doing? They're eating. They're looking for bugs to gobble up. Stars bright, moonlight. Look, there's the beautiful moon and there's the stars. Oh, I see some windows. Someone's got lights on in their house. And look, there is our caterpillar. Good night. Tall, tall grass. The end. Oh, I liked that book. I hope you liked it too. Now, before we go, I have a song for you. And this is a song about insects. Now, take the cap off, put it on the back. Who can tell me how many legs do insects have? Do they have two legs, like you and me? Do they have four legs, like dogs and cats and horses? Insects, here, I'll draw her body, have one, two, three, four, five, six legs. Insects have six legs. There, and I'll give her a little head. Two eyes, two antenna, two little mouth parts for eating. Look, I made a bug or an insect. And she has six legs. Now, I have a song for you about bugs. And this song is called The Ant, The Bug, and The Bee. And I want you to sing it with me, okay? You ready? Here we go. Two, four, six, eight. We're counting legs, so don't be late. The 
ant, the bug, and the bee are not like you and me. They walk on the wall, but they never fall. The ant, the bug, and the bee. Six little legs walk up. Six little legs walk down. Six little legs get tucked in, then they fly around. Zoop, zoop, zoop. The bug and the bee are not like you and me. They walk on the wall, but they never fall. The ant, the bug, and the bee. Six little legs in the air. Six little legs on the tree. Six little legs go everywhere, but not on me. Actually, I would not mind if the six little legs got on me, because I like insects and bugs, just like our friend the crane fly. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed our circle time today, thinking about bugs, the number six, and reading our story, The Tall Tall Grass. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.